Hello and welcome. So what is philosophy? Etymologically, the word translates to love of wisdom, philos being love and sophos being wisdom. Four main branches concerned with philosophy are logic, metaphysics, epistemology, and ethics. My definition of philosophy is the use of logic and reason to explore and answer fundamental questions. Questions can be stated as follows. What is knowledge? Do humans have free will? What might be said to exist? And does a deity exist? What is ethical? So going on to the first branch, logic, the study and art of correct thinking. This is important because being able to discern from logically fallacious statements or opinions is important in finding knowledge and truth, and even comes handy in, in daily life. For example, when the salesperson on the TV says, it's all natural, so therefore you should buy it, you can think in your head, just because something's natural does not therefore follow that it's good. Try and think deeply as to why the arguments to the right on right of the screen are valid or invalid. So epistemology being this uh, second one. Study of knowledge and what counts as knowledge, truth, and evidence. There are two different schools of thought uh, in epistemology. Empiricists uh, saying that most, if not all, our knowledge comes to us through ex sense perception or experience. And then the rationalists, thinking that all of our knowledge, or most, if not all, comes through reason. And there are some pictures to illustrate to the far right of the screen, the top one illustrating em uh, em empiricists, and the bottom one mocking Descartes. And then you can see different uh, empiricists and rationalists to the right of the definitions. So here's some questions that should uh, sh sort of intrigue you. How do you know that the environment around you is real? In other words, how do you know that you're not a brain in a vat? Think about that. Do all objects, when released from any height, fall to the ground? Are blue whales the biggest mammals on Earth? If Sam's mom tells him the Earth is round, does he have knowledge or just true belief? Alright, moving on to the next branch. Metaphysics. Study of reality and what might be, s what might s be said to exist. So, you can see some of the questions and uh, concerns below uh, the definition. But furthermore, there are some example theories to the right. So Leibniz's identity of indiscernibles. Uh, two objects can only be classified as same as long as they have the same exact properties. This gets a lot into personal identity. And then he has a cosmological argument from contingency concerning itself with the existence of a deity. On to the fourth branch, ethics. The study of human conduct and what sentient beings ought to and ought not to do. I find this to be... Oh, I find this to be the most important branch because it concerns humans uh, across the board. Humans come into ethical dilemmas and choices every day. And these instances aren't cons uh, confined within... Uh, philosophers or intellectuals. It concerns ordinary people too. Furthermore, I think it's important because much, uh, much of our life hinges on these choices. Rarely do they ever hinge on uh, si whether Sam has knowledge if his mama told him that the earth is round. These are secondary, but support ethics in an important way. And you can see to the right of the definition uh, some example ethics. So a consequentialist, a um, lot of consequentialists are utilitarians and deontological, either uh, Kantians or uh, intuitive ethics. And I will be doing later videos on everything you see in this slide. So, so why study philosophy? Philosophy encompasses most of human life and in my experience has enriched my life uh, as much as my ethical and political opinions. 
Aristotle also thought that much of human happiness came from understanding. I think he was correct. Uh, my long-term happiness has certainly um, increased as opposed to other desires that I've had. Then there's a nice quote at the bottom. Uh, not necessarily. I'm not familiar with uh, Terence McKenna, but I thought it was a really interesting quote. Uh, so thank you.